Is this the evidence that he will always point to, Dom, when people say, oh, you play pragmatic, defensive football, trying to catch teams on the break? He'll say, well, look what happened in the Everton game when we try and switch things up. Yeah, but then I don't get what he's asking Pierre Hoybier to do. I mean, Hoybier's not a central midfield player that likes to go deep and get on the ball and start plays off. I've watched him all season. And he's had some some decent games, but where, he's, where his good games have come down is when he's gone touch tight to his opponent and he's gone right in their faces and he stops them from playing and he puts a foot in and he rats around. His game is not going 70 yards away from goal, trying to start off all the plays. And you look at towards the end of the game, I mean, Tottenham and Jose can throw as many forwards on as you like. They had Harry Winks, Sissoko and Hoybier in midfield trying to create. That's not his game. So I totally agree with the boys. I think Jose's good sitting there and he's standing there and he's turned around and going, oh, brilliant for the neutral, amazing game. Uh, everyone should be pleased. We're involved in a nine-goal thriller. You, you know he's like that. You, you know he's telling absolute fibs. You are never seeing this again from now till the end of the season. Uh, well, that... two things. Hoiberg can't pass the ball. It's not his strength. And the, exactly. sec and the second thing, that plant behind Don needs watered. <laughs> fake. Fake. Yes, that, that is the healthiest thing in this room. It's fake. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, Stevie, how big a deal is this with regards to Spurs season out of this cup competition? Well, you know what he is like. It's all about a trophy. Hmm. He doesn't care how high or how low the, the, the trophy's looked at elsewhere. As far as he's concerned, it's made of silver. And so that's another one gone. And he's got... <laughs> Listen, by the time the, the, the Carabao Cup final comes around... I'm sure he's hoping that, that Manchester City have got everything done and dusted and hopefully they're going to take a back seat and just be on their holidays. Because Manchester City, against anybody right now, there's only one winner. And so he's got to hope between now and April that uh, either City lose the plot, which is not happening, or they get things done and dusted. Uh, but, but... Because you wouldn't fancy this, you, this Tottenham side against City. But getting away from the game, obviously... <laughs> <laughs> Where, which direction would you like to take because this conversation? I, as I say, I, I was watching... Right, other, yes, you mentioned things. that. <laughs> People are upset with that, then tough. Uh, in some sense, Stevie's right, he's always about, look, look, trophies, I win trophies. But in another sense, in some ways, it could please him. Because with Kane coming back a little quicker than we thought, and we know him and Son of the Axis, is that it's less games from... To, Occupy his mind in terms of trying to get in the top four. Right. Because with Kane back, they have a smidgen of a chance of getting in. Without him, forget it. Right, Absolutely forget it. But with him back, they've got to still have a chance to get in the top four. I know they're not going to be many people's favourites, but it's there. And if he can achieve that, it'll be worthwhile dropping out of these competitions uh, to try and get his goal. Because if he gets him in the top four, then... I mean, that would be a pretty good achievement, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I, in some sense, yeah, disappointment at going out because he loves the trophies. Another sense, less games for him to worry about. Kane's back in, he can concentrate in this bun fight, and it is going to be a bun fight with Chelsea, Liverpool, Leicester, and maybe Everton in there to try and get in there. This could help Spurs. Don, no Gareth Bale. Mourinho was asked uh, before the game why he wasn't <laughs> in the squad. Uh, he said that uh, Bale said he felt something in training. Mourinho said not an injury. Rain. So, <laughs> so he left them with a the squad. Wind. Side. Wind. <laughs> Maybe a sunny day and open tea time. He felt something. Uh, Don? I mean, we're, I mean, we don't even know what's happening. I mean, the fact that it, it's rumoured that Gareth Bale didn't like training yesterday... <clears throat> So he's reportedly obviously missed the game tonight. I mean, what is even that? Has he questioned the, the, the standard of the training session? Did he do too little? Did he do too much? We've got no idea. But how he's not even making match day squads, I'll never know. Um, and just going back to the conversation before you had with Craig there, I, I don't see Tottenham getting anywhere near the top four. I think when you look at what Tottenham are good at, they're a two-man side. They're Son and Harry Kane. That's all they've got. They haven't got any midfield players that can create. They haven't really got any defenders that can defend. Lloris has, has been a, a decent goalkeeper over the years, but he's not one of the world's best. So I struggle. And they've got, by, by the way, they've got Man City this weekend. So Pep will be loving the fact that they've gone extra time tonight. So I, I don't see Tottenham getting anywhere near top four. 
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on U2. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.